My junior sister was about to start a business a couple of months ago, and she asked me for assistant, financial assistant. I was able to give her some little financial assistant. And then she started the business. Everything was moving, moving fine. And she was about to rent an apartment. She asked me again for financial assistant. I did. And uh, there was a time she told me that when she first started the business, she was told in her church that her first profit of the month has to go to the church. And she did so. Last month, she called me on the phone and said she needed some financial assistant. I told her that presently I can't help her because our mother is there also. That I, I, I help, I give financial assistance every month that I can help her. This month, today again, she called me and said, please, 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 sister, this is the last time I'm asking you for financial assistance. I need some money to boost my business. And I told her, I said, why not? You, you remember you told me the, the, your first profit you gave it to your church because your, your pastor wanted you to do that. She said, yes. I said, now that you need some financial assistance, why not go to the pastor and ask him for money? Yes, it's not, the, she, she now said, it's not the pastor that, that the church where I used to go every month, but it's our general overseer. I said, who is your general overseer? He said, Pastor Adeboye. I said, Pastor Adeboye. I said, what did he use the money to do? Yes, he used the money to pay the church workers. I said, now that you need financial help, Financial assistant. Can you go to Pastor Deboye and ask him for financial assistant? You cannot even go near him because he has bodyguards. You don't even have his phone number. You can't contact him personally. This is a man that has cars and, and private jets and whatever. He asked you to bring your, your first salary of the, of the month. You gave it to him. And now you are in financial assistant. You can't even reach him. This practice, practice of Nigerian pastors collecting money from people all in the name of God, this, it has to stop. You can collect money from your church members. Do you know when they have financial, when they need financial assistance? Can you help them? Do they know how their members survive day to day? This my junior sister need now financial help. Where is this pastor to help her? Anybody that knows Pastor Adeboye, please send my message to him. This girl needs some financial assistance. If he can receive from her, he can also give to her. He should give her some financial assistance. If they need my num they need my sister's number, anybody that is able to contact Pastor Adeboye and they need her, my sister's number, I will send. All the rich members of the church, they should help her. Bring money to church, bring money to church. But when these members, when they need help, nobody there to help them. Here in Europe, if I work every month, my husband and I work every month, we have to pay our, our, our house rent, our, our electricity bill, telephone bills. If, if, if my first work, I use my salary to, 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 I give my salary to the church here, I would have been able to pay my, my house rent or my, 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 my electricity bill. The system in Nigeria is wrong. It has to stop. All these pastors, you people should stop collecting money from your church members, all in the name of God. And when these members, they need help, there's nobody there for them. Nobody to help them. This girl needs financial assistance. All the, all the Pastor Deboye's church members, you, the ones that are rich, I will send you her, my sister's number. You people can get in touch with her and help her. The church doesn't have to collect, 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 collect. Let the church also give out. The Catholic church here, they are working hand in hand with Red Cross. They are helping people. I don't know what Nigerian churches are doing. I don't know what the pastors are doing. Big jets, uh, private jets, uh, their own cars, bodyguards. How can a pastor have a bodyguard? 
I thought there is God there to protect you. His angels are there to protect you. What do you need bodyguards from? That your ordinary church members cannot even come close to you and ask you for help. Get in, touch, get in touch with me. I will send you my sister's number so that you, the church can give us some financial assistance. This rubbish has to stop. 